So let's look at improving inventory performance. An inventory, your inventory, is the heart of your business. Everything happens in there. Everything happens in there. But the issue is that most people do not trust the heart of their business. Most people don't trust the systems that they have. And if you don't trust what you have, there's nothing that you can compare it to. What I'm mentioning here is that the theoretical value of your stock is the starting point of any kind of analysis that you will have in your business. The issue that we saw when we spoke to our customers was, one, I don't trust my system and I don't trust the theoretical value. Why? Again, because you have a bunch of friction. People don't follow standard procedures. Back of house tools are so difficult to use that people just abandon them and do as they wish. People don't know their variants and they can't investigate. They end up at the end of the month with, they spend maybe a day or two days inputting all of their invoices, all of the sales data that they've registered on their POS, all of the data that goes in and out, all the variants that goes in and out of the inventory happens once or twice in a month. And then they look at their reports and they're like, oh, damn, uh, my variance is of 25% and I don't know what's happening. 25% of my stock is missing and I have no idea why. So the key here is that you have to be able to build a system that you trust so that you have a theoretical value that is ultra accurate so that at the end of a specific period, you're able to compare your actual value, so what you currently have in stock, to what you should have theoretically, and then investigate any kind of discrepancy that happens. Counting stock is extremely time consuming. That again is an action that you do, whereby you analyze the stock that you have and you input this in your inventory so that at the end of the day or of the week, you look at what you've bought, what you've sold, and what you currently have in stock, and if all of it makes sense. But the issue is that, imagine, th this is typically what happens today in 90% of restaurants in the GCC. A man will go with a pen and paper, they will go into their fridge or their inventory or their pantry, and they will start counting each of the different items. Sometimes this item might be set as a package. So for example, they don't count two bottles of ketchup, they might have a box of 16 bottles of ketchup. So they will just write one box times 16 bottles of 300 milliliters of Heinz ketchup. They will do that for the entire inventory. Most of the time, they either do it alone or they do it as a team. And at the end of the count, they try to merge all of these calculations. All of this is built with red flags all over it. Okay, why? Because Whenever a human does something, whenever a human calculates, there's a high risk of errors happening. Stock counting is very time consuming. When you have a big inventory, you have to spend hours and hours to do that, but it doesn't stop there. You then have to sit, you have to do all of those calculations. Then you have to send this to your cost controller, who then has to go to the main office, who then have to digitize all of those stock counts and input them into their ERP or inventory that they currently have or the system that they have internally. So it's built with this entire system is filled with friction, filled with human, with risks of errors, is very time consuming. And this is why it doesn't happen very often. But what does that mean? It means that you cannot measure or see your variance very often. What does that mean? It means that discrepancies are found way too late and are very often too late to solve. And that's a huge issue in improving your inventory performance. And finally, ordering is done by instinct and by almost anyone. You might have a sous chef that says, oh, you know what, I need ketchup and I don't know how much I have, but I think we're going to have, you know, a big event, which means a lot of ketchup is needed. Therefore, I'm going to order 16 bottles because one day I ordered 16 and it was a perfect quantity. Let's go for it. Okay. And it turns out the event is canceled or whatever happens. And then you have to waste all of that. Game. So these are the issues that we found within businesses and this is why the inventory is not performance. So here's what we did. Within the system, we have built an ultra accurate item and recipe configuration process that we've not seen anywhere else. Items are not only registered as a single item, but they're also registered as packages. And each package, so for example, instead of saying one bottle of ketchup, we have a package of one box of 12 bottles of ketchup. And then you might have another bigger package that contains six boxes of 12 bottles of ketchup. What does that mean? This means that whenever you're counting your stock, 
you can count your stock per package, not just by item, in order for the software to do the calculation for you on the spot, which removes the risk of human errors. And you've got ultra accurate recipe configuration. Whenever you deplete and or whenever you sell or waste a recipe, the depletion is done ultra accurate. Wastage preparation is built into the product so that you can account for the right depletion. I'll give you an example, avocados. If you buy two kilos of avocado, you're not going to use two kilos of avocado because the skin and the seed in the middle account for the weight. So whenever you're buying two kilos of avocado, whenever you're setting up your recipe or your item, you will automatically account for a 25% loss of the weight. Now, what does that mean? It means that you have an accurate depletion of your avocado and you have an accurate inventory that you can trust. Trust is the keyword here, all right? Interconnected modules, operations talk to each other. For you to be able to have a performance inventory, you have to have modules that talk to each other. If you are below par, so below the optimal level of an item that you should have, then you are going to get a smart recommendation in your procurement module whenever you're ordering things, whenever you're ready to send an LPO, a purchase order, with the optimal amount of this item to buy. What does that mean? It means that you'll never have to overorder and therefore lose products due to waste, but it also means that you never experience shortages, meaning not being able to sell a recipe because you don't have this item in your inventory. This is the power of interconnected modules. Modules talk to each other. Data flows fluidly between those modules, which means that you're able to take data-driven decisions across your different operations. Mobile stack counting at a packaging level. There's a lot of power in mobility. A lot of softwares still don't use mobile. And that's a huge issue because it creates friction. If your team goes into an inventory and is able to take their phone, just a smartphone, and count on the go, you remove the paperwork process, you remove the administration that goes with sharing a stock count, and you're able to count much faster. On top of that, something that SAPI does particularly well is what we call parallel stock counting, which means that you can go as a team in your inventory, you can assign sections of the inventory for each team member, and each person can count on their own. And at the end of the count, the software will bring all of these stock counts together under one single stock count, do the calculations of not only adding up the items that everyone has counted, but also doing the right calculation based on the packages that were counted. So if you counted six boxes of 12 bottles of ketchup and one box of 15 kilos of ketchup, at the end of the day, you will see one line with your inventory saying ketchup, 350 kilograms or liters, whatever unit of measurement you've chosen, that's how much you have in your inventory. So let's take this a level further. What does that mean? If you're able to count two times faster and three times as accurately because you're dividing the work and removing all of the friction, it means that you can count more often. It means that you can count two to three times a week, if not, if not daily, in order to make sure that your variance never goes above or below a certain threshold. And that means that you can take action very, very quickly. And being able to optimize your inventory performance on a more regular basis means that your business, your business will be able to optimize their performance, boost their productivity and survive and perform better than your competition. All right. Approvals and permissions, a very powerful feature within SAPI, whereby you give the rights, different rights for the different people within your business. All right. A sous chef might not be given the right to actually put in an order. The chef only might be able to put in an order. So that's one way of solving the issue of enabling anyone to order whatever they want. And then finally, you have smart procurement recommendations. It's what I mentioned before, interconnected modules, very important because it takes away the guesswork. SAPI eliminates guesswork. And if you eliminate guesswork and you take data-driven decisions across your inventory, then you're able to reduce your cost and optimize your profitability and maximize it. So what are some tips that you can take from this based on what we've seen in the market and the products that we've built? First of all, configure items and recipes with detail in mind. Be very precise with everything that you're putting into your, your inventory. Do the hard work once, 
so that later on, everything is done with precision. Configure your items by packages, don't just put ketchup. Select the different packages, assign a different supplier to each of those packages, and then create recipes in, with the right units of measurement, with the right items. Build a communication standard between your operations. If you have procurement on one hand and you've got inventory on the other hand, set up a process. Tell your team, if you don't have a software that does this, tell your team every day after you've received your items, I want you to go and tell the person in charge of the inventory that this is what's been happening. Or this is a standard way of registering an invoice, please do it this way. Provide mobile solutions and eliminate paperwork. Paperwork is cancer for a business. Provide mobile solutions so that your team has less friction and is able to perform better. And the less friction they have outside of the kitchen, the more time they can spend improving your recipes, making better recipes, making profitable recipes, and helping you sell more. Give clear roles and rights. It's the equivalent of user permissions. And order based on optimal levels. Uh, be obsessed about this. Remove the instinct from how much you need in a business because data never lies. Similarly to the waste recording, you have a SAP inventory framework, which I'm happy to share with you. Just send us an email because the page is not yet live. So send us an email, happy to send it to you. You can get started with recording an accurate inventory and waste. And these mimic the feature and procedures that we have in our software. So it can get you started. And I'm happy to share.